When I was looking on Google Maps recently, I recently discovered a new place to swim. And it's here. You want to know what's there? <laughs> We're going there today. Torrent Bay, Cleopatra's Pool, Anchorage. Torrent Bay, Cleopatra's Pool, Anchorage. <laughs> Torrent Bay, Cleopatra's Pool, Anchorage. When I was looking on Google Maps recently, I recently discovered a new place to swim. And it's here at Kai Cherry Cherry Beach. Well, no, it's not here in Kai Cherry Cherry Beach. It's over there in uh, Abel Tasman National Park. It is between Torrent Bay and Anchorage. It is called Cleopatra's Pool. There is a river that goes between those two bays called the Torrent River. That's where we're gonna go. Do you wanna know what's there? There is something really special there, something really magical. You just don't find it everywhere. So I'll tell you what it is later in the video. You're gonna have to watch but it's very, very special. We're going there today. Uh, we should sit on the left hand side of the boat. People were getting instructions about where to go, and we didn't. Oh. Have to go look at the signs. Okay. This sign here advises you of uh, the usage of Torrent Bay. It's difficult to pick up and drop off during low tide, and no pickups and drop offs after lunch. Why? Because of snobby people that own those houses over there. The rich snobby people don't like tourists here in the afternoon. No fishing, no boating, no anything, no taking crayfish, no taking sharpfish, uh, no cray potting, no fun. Um, they forgot to put no drones. <laughs> it's lacking the no drone sign. All right, finally, a map. You are here at the jetty and the toilets. Walk down Lagoon Street a wee bit, then come down here, Manuka Street, and then head down here. That's where we're going, Anchorage. That's it. Final destination for the day. What was that? Did you say something? Am I disturbing you? Listen, listen, it's okay, all right? I'm just stopping here to put my Ratley, my Ratley keys in my backpack. You don't have to worry. Everything is going to be okay. Oh, the check is underneath. That's why. Oh, it's got babies. That's why yeah. it's making noises. I see. That's ah. why. He's afraid that we will just hurt them. Ah, once I get colder. Do not get closer. Don't want to get dirty. Sorry, sorry, mother. I didn't know that. That's why she's not moving. With the little chick too.
Oh, look at that, they're going back underneath. <laughs> wow. Sorry. Now that is something that you really don't see every day. I mean, you walk down a track like this, you don't really expect mm. to find, <laughs> you know, a bird with the baby chicks just right there, right in front of you. That was special. Not as special as what's coming up though. Okay, so a little bit of context. Why am I harping on about this? Why is this so cool? Well, I love to discover things in New Zealand that are off the beaten track that you just can't drive to. So much of New Zealand just gets hammered by tourists. It's, that's not a bad thing, but what I mean is so many places are on the main roads and you can drive to them, but because you can drive to them, they end up getting put on the old Google Maps and stuff. And, uh, you know, you show up during the holiday season or any of the warm months. And it would be lovely if you could have some time to yourself at these places. And uh, yeah, you get there and there's like a hundred other tourists. Anyway, the spot that we're going to here is only accessible via walking here or by a water taxi. So um, that kind of acts as like a filter to filter out some of those people that would like to come here but are not going to go the extra mile to make it happen. We are making the extra mile. We are going the extra mile to make it happen. And that's what makes today so special. And here is a good example of why it's a good idea to hike wearing hiking boots. Yeah. A little bit of a flood going on down here. Along this track you'll find blue flags. They point to traps. It's a trap to catch rats, stoats, that type of thing. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. How are we gonna get through this if it's gonna be like this all the way? Yeah. really wasn't expecting this, especially this early in the, in the hike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that's maybe low tide. I think she's right, this is called high tide. You know, so in order to avoid having wet shoes through the entire trek, I mean, we're only, we're only, <laughs> like, such a very short distance into the beginning of this hike to do this already. Bloody hell. It's called hiking. Yeah, this is this is hiking. There's no more of that coming up, otherwise this is going to be a very slow walk, and we have a long way to go. So you know how New Zealand's sporting emblem is the silver fern. This is a silver fern. You can tell by lifting up the leaves and see if it has that silvery white colouring underneath it. You can't find them everywhere. In fact, you'll walk past a whole lot of them and you'll never even know they're there because you have to look underneath. That's a silver fern. There's another one. Cleopatra's pool, 10 minutes away. Uh, off we go.
Hi Wacker. Quick Wacker, get into the backpacks. Get into those backpacks. Do it. Look at him wrecking that backpack. Is this my bag? Oh yeah, this is your bag. Yeah. yeah. Wacker's looking for food. <laughs> Hi Wacker. Hello Wacker. I pretend to have food. I pretend to have food. I don't really have anything. I just pretend. Anyway, we have arrived. Have you been down here? No, I love the place. Freezing. Oh yeah, if you don't do it at least once, you'll regret it. You gotta do it once. down there. There comes the eel. You didn't get too scratched up? No, I knew not a little bit. Fewer scratches of the wetsuit. We're still waiting on this guy. Come on man, I got 3% battery power left. <laughs> That's all the time that we have right now at Cleopatra's Hydra Slide. You have to pay $120 in uh, water taxi fare to get here, assuming you're not going to walk up from the bottom. And you can't stay forever because you got to get going and get uh, your water taxi back. So you can't stay. It's time to go. But I hope you enjoyed that. And that was very special. And that, this is what I love about New Zealand. That's us, Anchorage. Oh, it's been a pretty tiring walk up the hill. I was so shattered from the swimming pool. <laughs> Walking up the hill, so high. But we're nearly there. Oh, this is downhill now. I like it when it's downhill. Oh. 
So I suppose right about now you're thinking, Oh, Y2J, I like the look of that pool. I want to go there. <sighs> and maybe you didn't see the beginning of the video. So let me just burst your bubble here. Let me crush your dreams. If you want to go to Cleopatra's pool, you can walk for Marahau, which is down south. It's the closest road to Cleopatra's pool, and it is 10.4 kilometers away. So you'll have a round trip of walking from Marahau to Cleopatra's pool, 10 kilometers each way. Or you can pay the water taxi and uh, go up to uh, Torrent Bay or Jamie Anchorage, next. and you're looking about two and a half kilometers each Down way. The Down the hill. Jelly legs. Uh. Behold. Anchorage. They're going to make a hooker ticker sign. Thanks, guys. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>